Hey everyone, this is Rami here, Jigas Gamer, and uh, today I um, figured I would uh, cover a really cool piece of uh, computer PC gaming history. This is the original 3DFX Voodoo card, uh, the Voodoo 1, with the um, the 4 megabytes. Um, this was this is the Diamond Multimedia version. The um, it's called the Diamond Monster 3D, and uh, it was like pretty revolutionary when it came out. This was really the first 3D accelerator that could really run games well. There were others before it, like S3 Verge and all that stuff, but they did not run games uh, as well as this thing did. This was really the one that sort of uh, kickstarted the 3D graphics revolution in uh, the mid 90s, and um, for like. Getting into retro computers, I think this is still one of the best cards you could get for older DOS uh, 3D accelerated games. Um, I've been using it in a Pentium computer that I own, and I really like it. It's um, really, uh, it's just like super good. If you play Descent 2 with this, uh, you can get like 60 frames per second. For most of the time, it does dip a lot here and there, but you know, it's really... For most of the part, when you're in an area without enemies, it's silky smooth, and I really like it. This, uh, on the bottom here, is actually the main graphics processor, and the one above it is the texture mapping unit. And um, this card has got 4 megabytes of RAM, uh, as I mentioned, uh, video memory, two of which go to the um, textures, and the other two is for the, the video acceleration. And... Um, this card uh, is quite different from other cards at the time, so uh, as you can see on the back here, it's got two video ports. Um, one is like for going in and one is for going out. So the idea was that this is a 3D only card, so if you were to just plug this in to your computer on its own, um, you're gonna get you're not gonna get any video because you need to have a 2D card to display your desktop. So what you would do is you got a 2D card. Let's see, I've got one right here. Um, what you do is you pretty much take the 2D card and install it next to the 3D card, and then you take a VGA pass-through cable from this port and you run it into this one, and then. Uh, you plug your monitor into that one. And so you have to have two cards running in your computer if you want to get a, uh, you know, if you want to get the 3D acceleration working from the Voodoo card. So here's my Pentium system. Um, so before we get to the video cards, I just want to point out my sound card. This is just a Sound Blaster 16 with a Dream Blaster daughter board there. Um, and I got a fan here for the Voodoo card. Uh, the Voodoo card runs kind of hot. Um, it's not like, you know, like the Voodoo 3, but it does run pretty toasty, so I threw in a fan here wrapped up to a PCI bracket, and it does a good job of knocking off some heat. So, uh, yeah, there's that. And above that is my 2D video card. That's an S3 Verge, which is like, you know... I picked it because I really like DOS games, and um, that has really good DOS compatibility. The S3 Verge is the one I mentioned earlier, uh, which had really bad 3D, and um, yeah, it's just not good, which is why I have the Voodoo in there alongside it, and I'll show you guys how the Voodoo card runs here in a little bit. Alright, let's boot this bad boy up. Yeah, I got a GoTech here, as you can see. Oh, it's, it's in the hole, it's not really... There we go. I don't know, I like those LEDs. Anyway, here's our system. We have a Pentium at 150 megahertz and 80 megabytes of RAM. Award modular BIOS. Classic. And we're booting into Windows 95. I, I genuinely apologize in advance about the flickering. I have no, you know, I don't have like... Sound never gets old, <laughs> but yeah, I don't have like really expensive camera equipment to throw around. As you can see, this video is super low quality and just absolutely shitty in every way imaginable. But I don't know. I just wanted to show you the Voodoo card. I don't even have capture software, so I'm filming the screen like a yeah. So anyway, um, I guess I'll start off by showing you uh, Quake. 
in software mode. There we go. There we go. It looks good. I mean, it's 320 by 200. You got your pixels. So, I'm going to be honest. I actually prefer this game in software mode. I don't know why, but I love the way this looks. This, this game just looks better with pixels and chunky stuff like that. Maybe it's just me, but... Um, I don't know. This game really looks good in software mode, in my opinion. The, the gamma on the 3FX card kind of... Uh, leaves a lot to be desi desired. Um, it looks better in other games. But damn, this game is awesome. Aside from, you know, technology and stuff, I just love Quake. It's great. And this is running on the Voodoo card. We get that nice 3DFX splash screen. And look at that, our resolution is upped, doubled. It's uh, 640 by 480 now. As you can see, there's like texture filtering, there's uh, anti-aliasing, and um, uh, the resolution is higher. Uh, that's the benefits you get with the Voodoo card. And uh, it does look nice. I still prefer the software, but this does not look bad. Pardon the glare on the CRT screen, by the way. I d that's not in the game. It's just because of me being a cheap ass filming the TV, the computer screen. This is the uh, 3DFX Voodoo like control panel and stuff. As you can see, we got our glide files here in the library. 3DFX and all that stuff, 16-bit, 32-bit, blah blah blah. I honestly don't know what most of this stuff means, but it's just cool to look at it. Um, there's also a uh, demo, like a, a test. Like, see that? This is what it looks like. This is like a stress test for the Voodoo card. It's really not that impressive. Um, uh, here's the, this is the gamma controls, you can set that, um, 640 by 480 resolution, the maximum it could go, 60 hertz, um, yeah, apply to DOS and all that stuff. Uh, these are my settings, I have it on uh, 1.70 when I use a CRT, because just, this is just the way the CRTs are, they're usually darker than the LCDs, so I turn the gamma up a bit on these. When I use an LCD, I just use 0 0.95, it's a good, uh, Good setting for that. And yeah, it's very simple because it's, you know, one of the earlier 3D cards that was uh, at least, you know, really good. All right, let's try my favorite game right here. One of my favorites. I mean, it's like honestly one of the best DOS games. Descent 2. Love this game. Man, back in the days when the CD drive <laughs> was so loud. This is such a great game. Uh, anyone who, has, who hasn't played Descent 2, I highly, highly recommend it. It's just one of the best uh, first-person shooters I've ever played. Here's what Descent 2 Level 1 is like in software mode. See that? All the chunks and pixels and stuff. There is an advantage to this though, the mouse sensitivity is really well. Uh, I've heard that the higher the frame rate is in this game, the lower the sensitivity will be. And uh, let's check out the frame rate, actually. You just type in frame time and you'll get a frame counter. So we're getting like 40 to 45 FPS average on here. Let's see it when we open the door, it goes down to 30. And uh, one thing I noticed with Descent 2, enemies in the distance look like Tetris blocks because of the, the large pixels. Okay, let's up the resolution a bit. 
in software mode and see how it performs. 640 by 480. This is what you get with the Voodoo, so we'll try this out and see how the game runs at that uh, resolution. And then after that, we'll try the Voodoo card and we'll see it, it runs at the same resolution as what we're trying right now. It runs at 640 by 40, just like what you're about to see. Now, look at that. That is what I call a PC struggling. Frame rate, let's check it out. Oh my god, that is abysmal. 11, 12, 13, 14. This is uh, not playable. I would not want to play the game like this. <laughs> wow, dude. I can't even aim right it. No, this is... <laughs> well, I, I killed them at least. Anyway, that's Descent in 640x480 software mode. Really, really not the best experience. But that's why they made the Voodoo card, and uh, let's take a look at that now. Okay. Now, to run the 3DFX version, back in the day, you had to download a uh, 3DFX patch, like this one right here, D2 Voodoo which is what I'm going to use to run uh, Descent 2 with the 3DFX Voodoo card. And uh, this is the official patch that was done by Parallax Software themselves, the uh, creators of Descent. It's uh, a really well done 3DFX port. Let's open our frame counter. Yeah, see that? Look at that. It's pretty much 60. 60 frames a second locked. Very silky smooth. Of course, I'm only playing with one hand, so I can't rotate myself with the mouse. I, I go forward with the mouse, but you know, I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes to show you. It dips down to like 30 when you go through a door or, or look through a door. But look how smooth. Like, that is so much smoother than the software version. Not only because of the anti-aliasing and everything, but because it's like, you know... Just super still, it's like super smooth, just the frame rate. And the resolution is twice as high. Um... I know I said I like Quake better in software mode. But Descent 2... I like Descent 2 in 3D effects mode. I prefer the 3D effects version in this game. It benefits so much from the Voodoo card. Like, just look at that. That's insane. There's no comparison between the software and the 3D. So yeah, that's what the Voodoo card brought to the table back in 1996. It was a very revolutionary card, and it changed PC gaming forever. Before this, you really just had your Duke Nukem, your Blood, your, you know, your Doom and stuff with your 2D software mode. But when this thing came out, every one of those graphics companies, NVIDIA, ATI, fell over themselves trying to compete and bring another card to the competition. Eventually, 3D effects fell out of the market. They went on to make the Voodoo 2 and 3, which were amazing. And then... uh by the time the Voodoo 4 and 5 were being made, NVIDIA was already just killing it in ATI. And so 3D effects just dropped out of the market in the early 2000s. But in the 90s, they were an absolute powerhouse, and you had to have one of these cards if you were going to play like some good 3D, 3D, 3D gaming. You had to have 3D effects. And um, it's a really awesome piece of history, and I love playing with it to this day. It still blows me away to see um, that this can do 60 FPS in games like Descent 2. Really cool stuff. So, yeah, um, that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. I enjoyed making this. Um, hopefully in the future my production quality will will be better. Um, I mostly just did this because it's, a, it's, a, it's something I love doing. I, I love talking about these things, and uh, I, I wanted some more non-gaming videos on my... Well, I mean, it's still gaming, but it's... 
you know, more hardware related, which is another thing I love. So yeah, um, thanks again for watching guys and uh, see you next time.